This video will explain the difference between working with point clouds in AutoCAD 2014 versus AutoCAD 2011 through 2013. So why did the Cuba team put together this educational video for Autodesk products? Well, for those of you that are unfamiliar, Qubit develops software for working with as-built conditions in the Autodesk environment. Now, our PointSense family of products are actually direct plugins to AutoCAD, which provide industry-specific tools for extracting information from point cloud data. Our functions work with the native Autodesk point cloud engines, so before someone can understand Qubit tools, they need to understand how to properly bring laser scan data into the Autodesk world. First, let's start with a review for getting data to the post-processing stage. Now, the process pretty much remains the same. First, we start with our scan in the field, and that takes us into pre-processing with all of our raw, unregistered scans. And this is where we clean up the data, register the scan positions, and get it ready for post-processing. This is where the registered point cloud is created. And then we can move to post-processing or design. In this case, we want to get the data into Autodesk software. This is going to be our focus today. So creating Autodesk point clouds, just a review between AutoCAD 2011 through 2013. For those of you that are already familiar, uh, you'll know that you have to go directly into AutoCAD first. Then you're going to either type point cloud index into the command prompt, or you're going to choose the create point cloud button from the insert ribbon in AutoCAD. You simply choose the file format from your scanner manufacturer, the raw data, the registered data, and from there it's going to convert that data into the PCG format. And the PCG is what you attach uh, when you're ready to bring the point clouds into a drawing. So what's different with creating Autodesk point clouds in AutoCAD 2014? Well, you still have the first option for indexing the cloud data directly inside AutoCAD. And when you do this, it will create a PCG file for you. So nothing changes if you decide to still use this option, which you're used to from AutoCAD 2011 through AutoCAD 2013. Now the additional option is to use Autodesk Recap. So what's Recap? This is a free program that gets packaged with all Autodesk products, all Autodesk 2014 products. And it's basically a point cloud manager. You can put or import all of your scanner manufacturers uh, scans directly into the recap environment and from there it's going to take those registered scans and convert them into RCS files reality capture scans now once imported you can then save all of these RCS scans which are combined together in the recap environment as an RCP file reality capture project the RCP will reference all the individual RCS scans now recap provides a really high quality point of view to view all your data and it can handle a ton of data. So it's really nice that anyone can use it as a viewer, but you can also clip out specific sections if you like and even export sections as a PCG or other formats if you're used to using PCG. This can come in handy and I'll tell you why in just a bit. Whether you use RCP, RCS, or PCG in 2014 products, you can simply attach the point clouds in AutoCAD like you're used to and choose one of these file formats for bringing it into AutoCAD, Revit, or a number of other Autodesk products now. Let's take a look at some interesting observations in AutoCAD 2014, and these are really important. Now the RCP engine is still not fully optimized in AutoCAD 2014 yet. Uh, we're actually waiting on the Autodesk team to improve the graphics engine in AutoCAD so that it can handle the high-density, high-quality clouds in RCP. Now, although this is the case in AutoCAD, the RCP is actually working very well in Revit at this point. At this time, there's an optional real-time regen or manual regen of the point cloud points, and I'm going to show this live. But this will basically allow for some flexibility in the use of the point cloud point max option. Now, for users uh, on 2013, you may be familiar with point cloud point max. It allows you to increase the 1.5 million point viewing limitation that AutoCAD had inside of AutoCAD 2011 and 2012. As you may remember, the PCG engine handles up to 2 billion points, but would only show 1.5 million at a time 
so that AutoCAD could handle handle it graphically. If you use point cloud point max, you can turn that threshold up as high as 10 million points. The RCP has improved the correct point snapping. There was a sort of an issue with the PCG engine where you would sometimes snap to a point uh, behind the point that you're trying to click. Uh, so RCP has improved upon that and helps you avoid ghost points behind the points that you're actually going for. Now let's take a look at both of these options. First, we'll go to the classic option that you're used to. So I go over to the Insert tab in this case, and I find my Create Point Cloud button, still there in AutoCAD 2014. From here, I can choose any number of file formats that Autodesk provides for import. And this is going to allow me to create a PCG file. So you can select one file or multi-select, which then brings up the indexing prompt allows you to review, and you can choose whether you want to merge all these scans as one PCG file or keep them separated. From there, you just choose where you want to save your file and click Merge, or if the checkbox is unchecked, it would just create individual PCGs. Now let's look at option two. This is Autodesk Recap, and you can see it's really a nice Windows 8-like interface. And you simply click New Project, and you go to Select Scan Files. And here you'll see the different list of file formats you can bring in. What's also interesting is you can actually bring in a PCG file. So if you have old PCGs from your other AutoCAD projects, you can actually have it converted to RCS. But here I have some FLS files, and I just select Open, and they get listed. And you just click Next. You can mess with some settings if you like, but really you can just start import at this point. So here's a completed uh, set of scans that are RCS files. And navigating in the recap environment, you can see is really high quality, high density, um, no lag whatsoever. And this is just a great point of view uh, for either you or your clients to enjoy. And one thing I can do here is go over and, and make a small clip around a specific section. Now keep in mind, I've not saved the project yet, so these are individual RCS files inside of Recap. So I'm gonna say clip everything outside of this area so it masks all the other points, and I'm just seeing this little region of interest. Now from here, I can go and save the project. So if I wanted to save this as an RCP file, then I could easily open it, um, and it would reference all the scans next time either in Recap or a number of other Autodesk products. Now alternatively, with this little section I've clipped out, if I wanted, I could export just this little section as its own point cloud, maybe as a PCG file in this case. So if I were to take that PCG, it would just save that section. So I'm back in AutoCAD now, and I have my saved RCP project, and I'm gonna go over to the attach command like I normally would. And there's my RCP. And you see in Attach, I can still choose an RCS, RCP, or PCG file. Now here you can scale the cloud, because remember, a lot of these uh, scans come in in meters. So if I wanted to work in inches, for example, maybe I would scale this uh, from meters to inches. You can choose to lock the cloud and click OK. Now for our Qubit PointSense users, I want to show the Insert Point Cloud just like you normally would select Insert Point Cloud. And here you can see in 2014, we can choose the RCP, RCS, PCG, or PTC file formats. I'll choose the same RCP, and here we can see that we just want to scale from meters to inches. So as you can see, the Point Cloud is inside of AutoCAD now, and it looks really similar to how it would in 2011 or 2012 at this point. It doesn't look super dense. So let's check our settings. I'll select the cloud and make sure my point cloud density is up to 100. And that should help a little bit, and you can see it does. What else can we do? We can turn up the point max. And this is for AutoCAD 2013 and 2014 users. Point cloud point max. I can turn this up to 10 million if I want. Be careful about turning this up too high with your machine performance. 10 million is the max. You can see that does make a difference. But what you also notice is that it's on auto-update. So each time I pan and zoom, 
it's a little bit clunky because it's having to regenerate the 10 million points. So I'll turn off the auto update option. And what you can see is that by turning that off, it does allow me to work a little bit more fluidly and efficiently with the 10 million, but it's not actually regenerating the points. So if I zoom in, it looks very sparse. At this point, I would actually need to type regen or click a regen button. And you can see that it regens that point of view for me. And also sort of clips out areas that weren't on screen. So these are your two options. You can choose to keep auto update on with a little bit lower density or turn your density all the way up and choose to regen as needed. Now finally, I wanna show the improved correct point snapping. So I'm just going to rotate this beam to where it would overlap with the pipe. And then I'm just gonna do a simple line command. Now, if we were using a PCG file, it would actually have some problems and most likely click possibly to the point behind, maybe on one of those pipes. Here I'm clicking directly on that beam and I'm hoping that with the RCP it'll stay on that beam and not go behind on the pipe. And you can see it does. There's my line and it stayed directly on the beam. So the correct point snapping has improved for sure. So in summary, we do have an exciting new engine with a number of import options as Autodesk has rolled out their new RCP engine. And Autodesk Recap, product that gets shipped with all new Autodesk 2014 products, is really going to help users with large laser scan projects. It's going to allow them to handle massive amounts of data and visualize it with great clarity. In addition, the RCP engine is approved upon the snapping abilities so that we're not snapping to the wrong points. We're snapping to the points in front and not behind the points that we need. Unfortunately, the RCP and PCG engines are still very visually similar in AutoCAD 2014. And as stated, this is because we're waiting for the Autodesk team to improve the graphics engine in AutoCAD so that we can see the full RCP effect. Now for that reason, we still recommend working in sections of data in AutoCAD 2014, breaking up your very large projects into smaller areas to focus on at a time. And Recap can really help users do this because as I did in the video, you can crop out small sections and work on those. Reducing the number of points inside of the AutoCAD environment will help with the visual quality overall. 